So, what do I get out of being married to April? Um, I'm sort of saying this because there's a lot of stuff where people go, my Filipina, my this, but they every person is different. Um, there may be some traits between different people, but as a on a whole, they're all completely different. Um, so. I mean, one thing I will say is April's an individual, like most people are. Um, well, everybody is, in some form. <coughs> but uh, for me, out of our relationship, back when we first sort of started talking, um, I was pretty much bored out of my mind. Um, I was managing, a, managing the maintenance on a large building in Birmingham. Um, I was getting things sorted out there and the other guys I was working with were just not interested even in their job um, I was doing all their on call working evenings etc doing about 16 hours a day uh, 7 days a week just out of boredom um, but I enjoyed being there you know because the thing is it was a nice building and because nobody else actually wanted to do any maintenance I got involved in a lot of stuff that normally I wouldn't do um, because there's other specialists that are supposed to be doing it anyway but because they didn't want to do it it meant I had a bit of time to actually learn some new stuff and we'd strip down motors and things um, and do other bits that were their jobs um, because they made a full-time job of not actually working uh, but I wouldn't say I was happy at the time but I wouldn't say I was a bit like being numb I suppose you're just doing, going through the motions you're just bored but it's got to get done so you just do it you're not really bothered about what what's going on um, I'd split up with my ex at that time so I was sort of like quite happy being on my own I'll be honest I was very happy on my own in the sense that I didn't have any of the headaches that went with the relationship um, there was some positive stuff obviously but coming out of the relationship and sort of having that breath of fresh air um, was actually nice at the time it was just good to be back on my own um, I wasn't actually looking for a new relationship. It was just randomly that I was around a friend's house who was actually on a dating site. Um, when it was, it was, it it signed up for I think it was cherry blossoms or something, but it signed up for like a month subscription or something. Or it'd been on there. It'd been on there for a month, and he was saying that he paid this money and nobody was interested. And I took a look at his profile and rewrote it for him and. Uh, it was a bit of a weird Saturday afternoon going through that stuff. Um, but the the point being, so we wrote all his profile and everything for him, and then he was happy. Um, but as I was rewriting it, a picture came up, um, which was basically April. And I basically messaged her, said, "This isn't my uh, this isn't my account, but could she email me at such and such if she was interested in talking?" And that's what happened. We just started talking for nine months. Um, but I found the curiosity was more on the fact I, I the Philippines hadn't even crossed my mind. I've never even thought about it as a country. Never even covered any topics on it, ever. Um, but we just started talking about the differences between the UK and the Philippines. And it progressed from there. We weren't actually looking for a relationship. April had been in a relationship for five years and just come out of one there. And like I says, I wasn't really in an interest for a relationship either because I was quite happily being single. Um, but it was just the communication side. We just began chatting a lot, you know, look forward to chatting to, to each other. Um, April was going into work early just so she could use a company computer and things. Um... And I think that's one of the things that's been important in our relationship is the fact is we have a keen interest in each other. We're always interested in what the other one's doing. We never run out of conversation. We always have something to talk about. Um, we have a lot of things that we're interested together. You know, 
we like travel, we like food, we like um, experiencing new things, but also we don't really conflict. We don't, we don't have those big arguments that other people seem to have. We don't have any of that. Um, we're just content, I suppose. But I think that's why the relationships sort of been so important is the fact is as people, we're happy to be together. We're happy as a couple, but also when I'm working away for long periods of time, I don't have any nagging in my back you know, background because April understands it's for the family. You know, there's no, um, well, there's an example is there's a South African engineer I was working with um, when I was up at Lincoln. His wife's got cancer. Now he'd come to the UK um, to basically fund her cancer treatment by working. And they're talking on the phone at night and she's saying how, you know, how much of a bad person he is because he's not there supporting her. Yet his, this guy is collecting copper pipe on roofs and things from um, things that are, what do you call it, is the offcuts and things where pipes have been, uh, copper pipes have been replaced, wires have been replaced and they've left the old cables up there. Um... And then he's stripping the copper out to sell a scrap metal to put towards her cancer treatment. He sits at home weaving um, hammocks to sell. You know, he, the guy was doing everything. He's working a long day. Then he's doing all this stuff on top. <coughs> and uh, she's sitting there complaining at him there as if he doesn't care. I don't get any of that hassle. Um, because... April knows I do everything for the family. The family is the only thing that's important to me. Because, you know, it, it's like the other day, you know, when it was snowing here, the, the only deflated bit was we didn't get to see the kids um, experience snow for the first time. That was sort of like a bit of a deflating moment for me. Because it's just like, if, if it snowed an hour earlier, we'd have been out there in the snow and the kids would have, you know, we'd have seen the kids enjoying it. But instead they'd gone to school and seen it at school, so. But I think that's it. It's all about those moments. The same with, even my daughter in the UK is the same. I enjoy spending a lot of time with my daughter. Um, although she's now a teenager, um, I still look forward to her visiting us. I still... Look forward to seeing her when I'm in the UK, etc. Because pretty much family's everything. I can't, I can't put it in the other way, and that's that's what I get out of the relationship. Is April's a, you know, great mother, great wife, and a fantastic best friend. You know, I'm not a person that struggles to be with groups of people. Or on my own, I, it doesn't really bother me. But um, I would say April sort of completes me in that sense, in the fact that we're content. That 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 is a major thing, you know. If you're happy in life, then nothing else really matters. That's what you know. Some people say, "Well, you you could be rich, you know. Why am you done it? Because I don't care. All I'm happy about is being content in life, and that's where we are, you know." We're sat here with enough money in the bank for a year. Our Philippines income um, is enough to cover all the bills, plus it's expanding a little bit every month out there. So I don't have to send any money to the Philippines anymore. Um, Spain, give it another three years, I think will be paying for itself um, as other stuff starts to develop. But ultimately... What we want and what we got is actually being a happy family, happy couple, happy group. Um, and that's ultimately all I could ask for. You know, everyone's happy. What more do you need?